Today we're going to put the deaerator back into service. It's been open for an inspection. And we're going to show you. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to show you uh, what the process is: of putting the deaerator, closing it up, and putting it back into service. So the inspection has already been done. We've had NDT testing done. If we can take a look at some of the um, markings that are on the uh, vessel wall where the NDT testing has been done. We will compare this with another inspection next year. But for today, we're going to put the deaerator back into service. First of all, we're going to clean the gasket surfaces, surface areas so that there's no debris which could cause some leakage on the flange of the vessel and also on the door of the vessel. Okay, It's pretty clean already. But we're going to take a wire wheel and we're going to go over the entire area and make sure it's nice and clean before we put the gasket on. So on the inside of the deaerator, you'll notice the spray tree and you'll notice the nozzles on the bottom of the vessel. You notice the way they are set off from the uh, from the bottom of the vessel, that's to prevent any uh, sediment or debris from getting into the heat water pump. A uh, good feature, something to look for. And on the walls, you can see all sorts of uh, markings that the NDT testing people have put on. And they have issued a report on this um, for those areas that are marked, showing the various uh, depths of any pits, showing uh, any corrosion. Uh, and we'll use this to compare next time uh, when we do another test. Okay, so now we're going to put the gasket on. First of all, we're going to put a layer, a very thin layer of um, never sees. We're going to put a thin layer of never sees on the surface here, and then put the gasket on top of that. We're going to do the same thing on the door. Put a thin layer of never sees on the mating surfaces. That way, if we need to take it off next time, it'll come off a lot easier. Okay, we're ready to close the door to the deaerator now. But before we do that, we want to take a look inside to make sure that there are no tools, no rags, or anything that could fall down into the feed water pump, okay? I've seen this happen before where a 916 wrench has fallen into the feed water pump. Um, fortunately, there are strainers in those lines. However, if we can avoid that, let's do that now. So we take a look inside, make sure that there's nothing in there that doesn't need to be in there. Okay, so we're going to close the door, we're going to put the bolts back in. Before we put the bolts back in, we're going to check to make sure that the threads are nice and clean and apply a small amount of never seize to them. Then we're going to lift the door into position and align it so that all the bolts go in evenly without any problems. If there's too much stress on the, the bolts as they're going in, that means that the door is not aligned properly and you should use a, a um, pry bar to align it before you make the final adjustments and tighten everything up.